Hey guys, what's going on today? So, just wanted to do a quick little video on uh, trigger pull gauges. So, if any of you guys watch my channel, you know that I've been using this Wheeler mechanical trigger pull gauge, and it's been fine. Uh, bought it off Amazon, I don't know, a year and a half, two years ago. And uh, how these work, you see this little yellow tab here. You're going to slide it back. And then you're going to pull, and when it breaks, it's going to leave the little tab where it's at for poundage. I don't know if that's going to focus or not, but these are, you know, all your weights on there. And it's been fine, but I've always wanted a digital one. And a Lyman is what I wanted to get, so, you know, I started looking around, and uh, a Lyman, I think it's like 60 bucks or something on Amazon. And, you know, I was like, you well, know. Uh, you know, you know if, you're, if you're familiar with my channel at all, I'm a budget-minded guy when it comes to everything here again. So, um, so I started looking around, and then I saw this uh, this brand, Ao Durda, and I'll put the name of it here somewhere. But it's it's a Amazon trigger pull gauge, so it is a digital. This is what what it looks like. So. You see, here's where you hook your trigger. It's pretty simple. You can set it to, uh, like when you pull on it, for it to, at the maximum weight, when your trigger breaks, it'll stop. Uh, and it'll keep that on the screen. Or you can set it to where it clears. I, of course, I've got it set to where it stays. It measures in kilograms and pounds on here. So, and, you know, it works, works well for me. You just pull like that. And it'll tell you it's 1.8 pounds. I pulled on that so uh it's not going to do like lyman where it'll save several of them and then you can do your average if you want to on them but for me this works fine uh and uh you know i'm really liking it so and then comparing it to the to the mechanical one it's uh you know pretty similar so so either they're both way off or they're both really good so uh so just for an example I'll do the, got the 22 gallon sitting right here. I'm trying to do this where you can kind of see it. So, put it in there. Pull it on back. 1.4 pounds. So, works really good. Uh, one thing with mine. Uh, this little bar screws in so it's not stuck like this all the time you can turn this you know that's tight for mine that's just the way mine came i'm sure they're all are going to end up sitting in a different spot or maybe they all sit like that but you know ideally you want it to be like this you know you can have it like that for storage but when i put it like this it's kind of loosey-goosey so i wrapped some uh, thread tape around the end of it and it's you know it's just enough to keep it held in place so when you're trying to hook in there and you're holding the gun it's not uh, falling down and things like that so operation is really simple there's power green lights up like that you do your little pull here's the weight and then to clear it you just hit the button once quickly clears it and then to shut it off you just hit it again oh, that's it easy to operate I just wanted to share that with you guys if anybody out you know you guys are looking to maybe add a trigger pull gauge uh i paid 25 and actually right now today i looked it up and they're only 20 dollars now on amazon there'll be a link down below I, you know i like to have one on hand for when i'm tuning a gun and everything you know the trigger is, is part of that too so anyway just a quick video to share that with you guys and uh go grab one see you on the next one